Hello everyone, welcome to the A2 Plus English Language School free online course. Today we will discuss about nouns. You are invited to join me and if you have any question or comment, please leave at the end of the lecture. And then I will tell you that the A2 Plus English Language School is a very important thing. The noun is a very important thing. The noun is a very important thing. The noun is a name given to person, place or object. It's one of the parts of speech. So noun, there are different types of noun, common noun, abstract noun, proper noun, collective noun, countable, uncountable. There are several of them, but we're going to see the six of them. So noun milo, le so bota wei le negroch miset sim malatno. Example, Mikhail, Sun, Moon, Ertia, Ethiopia, Asmara, Adisaba. So hulum nazi noun nacho le bota le hulum miset malatno. And it's like you noun nalu nacho gun one ocho sedis nacho manu. First one is common noun. Common noun is a name given to regular things surrounding us. Usually things can be that can we can see or touch. For example, car, man, bridge, house, table, chair, door, and etc. Okay? And the common nouns are capitalized only at the beginning of sentences. Bed, so, makina, dildi. Common noun is a touch one. And common noun is a touch one. Capital is a touch one. The sentence is a touch one. The second one is abstract noun. Abstract noun is a name given to things that we cannot see or touch. We can only feel them. Okay? For example, happiness, love, bravery, joy, patience, hope, and extra. Okay? And this abstract noun is a touch one. The abstract noun is a touch one. The abstract noun is a touch one. The abstract noun is a touch one. تجست تصفى من عمل من نجاش ما جو لذي تصفى ويفكر لتعيش وي لت لتنكاوم أتشلم because it is only a feeling مال or emotions لونه مال the third one is proper noun proper noun is very special it is a name given to a known or unique things unique person unique place or unique object and proper noun always always start with a capital letter Okay, this proper noun is the name of 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 the name. For example, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, Mikael, Africa, United Nations. And that's the name of cities, name of countries, name of known places, name of days of the week, Monday to Sunday, because there is only one Monday in a week. One Tuesday in a week, okay, up to Sunday, months of the year, January to December, including including Agume. There is only one Agume in a year. So these are all proper noun, and they must have the capital letter. Let's say proper noun in Lacho, the ya liu le bota misetu mali ta wo kabota liu negar tsai koko charaka hulum nazi liu negar sulo hono ya nasum hule capital letter bijamal lebat. And the zone ya samut kanoto kanot kanoto sh ya samut. Wajib mo, warucum, hulum pakar yang pakar yang jemurum, backup kali terima jemur ala baca mana, proper nouns loan. Backup kali terima jemurum men tergumu macam apa lagi, apa yang pronouns yang lain, laut itu macam apa lagi? Sekarang cikin nak dengar. What the difference between G O D capital letter G and G O D small letter G? What is it? Do you think that do you think there is a difference between them? Yes, there is a big difference. The first one, G O D capital letter is God, and it represents one and only one God. Lazi anda yang kapital itu sihun, is gabir anda is gabir ucapan yang mereka tahu mana. If it become small letter G O D, it become God. God kapital itu no God damo small letter. God mana damo tak awat mana no. It is divine. It is something that people make and that worship. For example, India way yona letter lu agar ustad yona hawal tengah serta yang mereka tahu mana no. India anda semua belam ni Amerika lulus. Lazim nasi tahu tak macam mana? Nasu God sendal cawal mana? God kalungin kapital jika tergun sebagai representative kalau mana? The second one is Hayle Mikael. In the Hayle Mikael, the first one M is capital letter, Mikael is capital letter. The second one is M is Mikael is small letter. The difference is in the first one Hayle is his name, Mikael is his father name. But the second one Hayle Mikael is his name, but his father name is still to be mentioned. So. A name or the single person name should always start with a capital letter. The first one is collective noun. Collective noun is a single name given to a group of people. Collective noun means and someone or a group so we set one. Example, family, pets, and pets. Because most of the cases are like me, I'm about to tell you one again. And 
ስም ተራቸዋል ፋሚሊ ናቸው ለ የንትና ፋሚሊ እንላለን ያብራሃም ፋሚሊ ወይ ያአቢ ፋሚሊ እንላለን ማለት ነው ሰከንድ ቲም ሲም ስቱዴንትስ ፋካልቲ ሀርድ ካቢኔት ኦፍ ሚኒስተር ኳየር ጁሪ this all are in etc etc all more like this and these are single name given to group of people and some hono le group mi setu nacho manezi collect nam nacho if a noun is but this has rules okay if a noun is considered in general so batta gala sinul sinus nager we take them as singular the and nacho alno man but if you talk within the group group us tekta nager nager gen the plural nacho alno example abraham family is coming the new party yabraham bitseb wede party u tematallech indallo man no the crew is guiding ship markabenyaw markabun ye guide yaderegu no malno lezi inda and reachwal and markabenyos sintnacho 20 30 liyon chalu gen inda and reachwal batteka lay markabenyaw guide yaderegu no markabun indallo malno hortya gen new if we talk within the group then we take them at plural okay the students are students is singular okay the students are shouting at each other tamarochu resbarahachu yitrababishu nacho yetenchachu nacho indallo hortya demo the crew are fighting each other መርከበኞች እስፈራቸው ይጣሉ ናቸው ለዚ አንደኛው መርከበኛው እየነዳውን ይላል እዚህ ጋር መርከበኞች ይጣሉ ናቸው ለዚ ዊዝን ግሩፕ ገብተስናገር ፕሮላል ነው ናቸው ብዛ ጀነራል ስናቸው ደሞ ለሲንግል ናቸው አለ ማን This is collective noun Then countable noun Countable noun is a name given to things that can be numbered 1 2 3 ብለን ቁጥራቸው ለነሱ የሚሰጥም countable ናቸው countable noun ይባላል ማን Countable nouns are classified into two singular countable noun which is a name given to a single object or one object land neger mi set land object mi set sim singular countable noun lan example a boy and one a girl and said a man and so a child and lich a tooth and a tears a pair of shoes and a tent chamma a pair of trouser a pair of glove a pair of glass and a tent chamma gen yeqeñ negera hulet nacho hulet yallem inde and nacho alum ካቱ አንድ ሰውነት ላይ ስለሚለበስ እንደ አንድ እና ይቻላል ማለት ነው። ስለዚህ a pair of shoes እንደ አንድ እና ይዋላል a couple of shoes the same እንደ አንድ እና ይቻላል ማለት ነው። okay the second type of countable noun is plural countable noun it's a name given to two or more things for example boys girls men children teeth and these are all plural nouns it's a name given to two or more things ማለት ነው The last one is uncountable nouns. Uncountable noun is a name given to things that cannot be numbered. Why cannot they be numbered? Because one is because they have large amount. But I'm busy so no one can The second one is they lack specific size of shape. Kirts way dem aken yellacho. For example, liquid, water, milk, oil, juice, gas, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, solid, sugar, salt, hair. For example, water does have shape or size. ዋሁን ቅርጽ ሆነ አቀን ይለው ስለዚህ አንድ ዋሁ ለጥ ዋም ባለ ለማን ለክ እንደሱ ወተትም ኦይልም እንደሱ ቅርጽ ይላቸው አንቆጥራቸው በሚቆጣቸው አለ ሚልጥ ያገኝ ዋላ ናቸው አለ ግን አይቆጥሩም እነዚህ ሌላ ደግሞ ሶል ዘምጣ ሹገር ሳልት ሄር ጤፍ እነዚህ ቆጣቸው ጤፍ አንዱ ለቆጣ በጣም ብዙ ነው ትናንሽ ናቸው ስለዚህ ላርጅ አማውንት ለሆነ አትቆጥሩ አንካውንት ምናብል ናምበር ሚልቀም አንጠቀም አማውንት ነው ምንላቸው ማን ኦኬ ኖት ሚለው ደግሞ there are things that we think they are countable but they are actually uncountable for example money is uncountable genza bay qotterum time is uncountable giza ay qotterum power hay lay qotterum knowledge uqot dereja timirt ay qotterum fish ay qotterum bread dabbo cake chocolate nezi hulum mi qotter hon yisemonal ji ay qotterum zi are uncountable now manu lemon ay qotterum bilaw second na yawal manu well there are rules governing countable and uncountable nouns the first one is uncountable noun has no plural forms ማይ ቆጠር ነገሮች አይበዙም let's say example a boy and one ይቆጠር አይደለ ሲበዙም ነው ያሉ ወንዶች ሆነ አይደለ ለዚህ ማይ ቆጠር ግን for example war war is uncountable so it become war ዋ ትንሽ ቢሆን ብዙ ቢሆንም ዋ ዋን የሚሆነ ማለት ነው ዳቦና ኬክ bread and cake are also uncountable now why they are uncountable now because they are made from flour right they are directly transferred into bread and we cannot count flour or just like this we cannot count it and if you cannot count it then so does bread so bread is uncountable noun and even bread sibezam bread no man dabbo dabbo no cake cake no ay bezam dabboch cakeoch ay hono man selezi breads cakes mi par yellem so in english in bamarnya 3 dabbo 9 5 dabbo sin lalle be engliziya gin give me two breads three breads mi par yellem okay 
we're going to see how we consume, but bread become bread, cake become cake. All right? So the second one is, how do we count uncountable now? Simple. We count the measurements that we give to uncountable now. For example, sugar is uncountable. How do you count sugar? Sure measurement, kilogram. Give me two kilos of sugar. Give me 10 kilos of sugar. We don't say sugars, okay? War is uncountable. How we count war? War we count, we count through liters or bars, okay? We say, give me five bars of water. Give me 10 bars of water. Give me five liters of water, okay? So we count it through measurement. The same, bread and cake are uncountable, right? So how do you count them? Through pieces, okay? Give me 10 pieces of bread. Give me five pieces of cake. Give me one kilogram cake, all right? So this is how we measure cake and bread or how we count cake and bread. But cake and bread are uncountable. A lot of people get confused on this one, so careful with this. Dabo ba pieces ba kurach no mukodro man no. Amanya, so okay, this is the middle of. Bengals niya gan ba pieces no mukodro man no. The same, money is uncountable. Gan zaba ikotram, para bemen ikotram, yem ikotram alam dino. Currency no, bat era. Lazi, currency ikotram. For example, bir kama fatar gan zab gan zab currency kama fatar of fit, so which ba exchange ikos no berman no. You want to get a check made alone? You want to get a mug? Just to make alone, man. Because while again, see, 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 a year gizze work way silver is away though. Barely land again. You want to get to make alone, man. Because you see, that alone, what a currency me fetter jamara. This dollars, euro, bur, na familo. Yet to fetter a gizze man. Because while a sun mo turin jamara. So what we are counting right now is currency. It's a measurement of money, but it's not actually money. So we don't count money. Second, the same thing, just like that. Time, time is uncountable. Imagine before the invention of clock. Lazy. Gizze ka saat mga way yah ichat kama fatar kama fatar way fit so but sa ayon niya mero minum niya ko talan ba? Lazy ka gizze walang niya physics si develop siyon ba oscillation na mas second fatar ka second wala minutes hours days months mo tar jamar man then this is what we count is the measurement of time that we don't count actually time okay so the rule is second is we count the measurement that we give to uncountable lang but not uncountable lang. The third rule is governing in the end R. Is is used with uncountable noun and singular countable nouns. For example, war is uncountable noun and a boy or the boy is what? Singular countable noun. Let would say, the war is clean, the boy is plain. War is uncountable, boy is singular countable. How about R? R is used with countable plural nouns. Students are playing, the birds are singing. So students is what? Plural and birds are plural as well. So this is governing is and are. The fourth one is governing this, that versus this, those. This and that is used with uncountable noun and singular countable noun. Similar like is. And usually this and that goes with is. For example, this sugar is white. This papaya is fresh. So this is similar to that of is. This, those. Even the pronunciation is different. This, those. From that of this and that. And thus and those are used with plural countable noun. And it is usually paired with are. Thus are very tasty apples. The fifth rule is how many and few versus much and little. We'll see this one next lecture with quantifiers. But till then, much, many and few are used with plural countable nouns. And much and little are used with uncountable nouns. So, how many friends have you got? I've got a few friends. How many oranges have you eaten so far? Well, I ate only a few. So this is with countable nouns. Orange and friends are countable plural. Much a little, let's say with uncountable noun. How much water is in tanker? Well, there is only a little water. So water is uncountable, we use much and little. So that's all about nouns. Well, I will give you one assignment. Search and identify at least 15 uncountable nouns and tell why they are uncountable. Simply, Google it, okay? Google uncountable nouns, and there are a lot of things that we think they are countable, just like money, time, bread, cake. There are a lot of confusing things that we think they are countable, but they are actually uncountable. Let's see, assignment to know. Can Google hear you? Uncountable, uncountable noun. Fill it out. So fill it out, man. Can you know? Lemon to know uncountable. You know, let's know. Reasons to know. Are they because they are large? Because is that because they have large amount, or is that because they doesn't have? They don't have specific shape or size. So find 15 and tell me the result, okay? This is all about nouns. If you have any question or comment, please leave at the comment space. I will be sure to respond to you, okay? Thank you. Have a nice time.